This is Drake's 2NT receiver. It was originally made for novices back in the 60s and this one is in beautiful condition. It has a key jack here to plug in your straight key. Your crystal goes here. It accepts two types of crystals. It has a built-in side tone and actually will feed the side tone back through a Drake 2C receiver which was its mate but it will work with any receiver it doesn't matter uh, it has a power adjustment here that we can set the input power to be exactly 75 watts which at that time was uh, the maximum power re uh, allowed for novices so we've got a spot switch here that turns on the oscillator so that we can hear it in the receiver and tune ourselves in. I've got a little receiver set up over here listening to it. And it has a built-in uh, Vox, as it may be called. And what that does, it um, allows you to connect the antenna of a receiver to the back of this transmitter so that um, it'll switch the antenna back and forth. You don't need an external relay. Uh, the delay of that uh, internal relay on this is controlled by this, so it can go all the way from full break-in to uh, a nice delay so that you don't hear any back background noise. And then, of course, your tune is, is this, and you tune for a dip on your meter here or for maximum output on your watt meter. So I've got a watt meter set up here and a dummy load so we can check the output power. I've got it turned all the way up and you can see the bottom scale here on the Drake watt meter. It's showing about 65 watts. And the way you adjust this is like so. So that's 75 watts input which gives you about 40 to 45 watts output. That was the novice maximum in those days. Well, you can run it all the way up and get full power that way. And here is the delay. The oscillator runs while it is being delayed. There it goes. So there you go. The Drake 2NT. Everything working perfectly. I have tested it on all bands and it has very clean and chirp free keying. Thank you for watching.